Well, you know what? It's Monday. Not everybody loves Monday. But today's a good Monday. Because today is Mini GT Monday. Uh, unofficially, I guess. Here at Level M Diecast, I am going to be bringing you an unboxing. A Mini GT unboxing. But I am not going to unbox those ones. Yet. We're going to be doing a two-parter here. This is going to be part one. We're going to crack open this Land Rover 110 in the Red Bull livery. Um, I'm really excited to get some more of these Land Rovers. I really hope that Mini GT can do some more SUVs. They do the Lamborghini Urus. Um, we'll see how that goes. They are coming out with some trailers. So this one does have a trailer hitch on it. Um, so they were getting those prepped and ready. Um, man, one thing I noticed though is you got to jump on these these Land Rovers quick, uh, quick. You know this is this is one of three thousand. You know, um, like this blue Bentley right here. That's one of twelve hundred. But this is an old release, and I was still able to pick it up recently. Uh, this this Land Rover though, uh, starting to sell out at all the uh, vendors that had it. Um, there's your deets on the back don't worry guys i got the lighting i think under control so we don't have to do crazy crazy glare I'm trying to help you guys out i'm here for you we're going to do the black c8 as well i will uh i will bring the the red one over too i already have the red c8 i've already done an unboxing for that one um but when i bought that one they did not have the black c8 so i now have the black c8 there are the deets on the back uh, should you want those deets there's the deets we are also going to do uh, one of my this will be my favorite version of the McLaren Senna uh, I never realized just how fluorescent that orange is it's just insane uh, that for that's just oh man it's just eye-popping it's such a good casting it's such a good casting again deets on the back um, I believe all these in this first one we're going to do. As a matter of fact, all of the mini GTAs that I've currently got right now are also, are all Milo exclusives. And, uh, you know, it's M&J, M&J distributors. Uh, this is the Pagani Wyra Roadster. I did not have an orange one. Um, I only had two versions. I'm not sure how many versions they have. I know there's a, I believe there's a Tarmac version. I don't have any Tarmacs, um, but uh, just a sneak peek, guys, just real quick. There's a potential that I may have that gray high ace with the yellow wheels, that Tarmac coming, uh, potentially. I don't know yet. I'm hoping for good news, but anyways, there's the back, there's the deets. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these prepped. We're going to swing right back here, and we're going to crack them open, all right? All right, guys. So we got the lighting set up. We got the rotator guy rolling. We're going to take this Land Rover. We're going to cut through this ridiculously thick plastic because Mini GT doesn't do anything 50% uh, of the way. They do everything 100% of the way. So we're going to crack this guy open. course like all mini gts comes in his little plastic sleeve we're gonna pull him out of there a lot of little parts throw him on there take the little protector plastic off the top so you guys know exactly the what you guys are going to get into check this out i got two <laughs> Maybe they did that on purpose to uh, make sure the model is good to go. All right, we're going to zoom in just a little bit for you guys. We're going to go down a hair. We want to make sure that we get all that good, good detail in there for you guys. After all, that's what you're here for. Man, that's such a good model. It's such a good model. Um, I have the surfboard version is the only other version I have. Um, which I absolutely love. I think that version is absolutely fantastic. Um, unfortunately, some of the other versions I want are kind of hard to get uh, or borderline impossible to get at this point in time. Um, speaking of which is like uh, that camel version. 
think the camel version camel version was the first one to come out it's like the desert desert style you know i know i keep mentioning that my buddy has one and he's gonna hook me up but i'm starting to get a little scared guys starting to get a little scared i'm not gonna get it but i will still hold hope out i'm gonna pull this up so you can see all that fantastic detail on there just so good it's a matte black man you know a mini gt you know for as intricate as they are you know they're not as fragile as you would think um i would actually be a little bit more weary of handling green light versus mini gt um with the exception of the mirrors uh, but the good thing about the mirrors is they are like a rubber material so they are designed to be able to take bumping and whatnot if that's what happens The roof rack is pretty cool, man. I like the roof rack a lot. It doesn't have any bends or craziness in there. There's your, there's your deets. Made in China, of course. And then, of course, has the tow hitch right there. Such a good model. Such a good model. What you, well, let me know what you guys think about that one. Let's, uh, let's do this. Just in case anybody's curious. Just to be a, a completist here and throw that up on there let it rotate just one time guys just one time i'm not going to torture you torture you guys with a box pretty much can see all you want while it's in the package just enough to get the next model cracked all right we're going to take that box off we're going to do this this way real quick we're going to do the wyra pagani wyra roadster in orange such a fantastic casting. Such a fantastic casting. Um, although I don't think Mini GT really does anything wrong. All right. Sorry, guys. I had to fix one of the wheels just real quick. A little bit of the rubber was coming off. But look at that. Arancio St. Tropez. I'm totally butchering that. But that's what the color is called. That is what is the color is called. Now, the one of the reasons I like this one is because I think orange is fantastic. Um, but I really like the black wheels, and I believe the other two I have. One has silver wheels, and one has gold wheels. This one definitely looks more race car to me. Definitely looks more supercar to me. Um, and that's what I like about it. There's a lot of good detail on this model. Uh, just an insane amount of detail. But, of course, all Mini GTs have an insane amount of detail. I'm going to pull this up here. Got the quad exhaust. Tail pipes. Printing on the side says Wyra. Uh, I think it says I think it says more than Wyra, but you can't. It's like super, super, super intricate. Um, all that good detail in the front, and then like I said, you know the mirrors are a little bit of a rubber, so you don't have to worry about bumping them or whatever while you're holding it. You can enjoy the model because you guys know I crack everything open. I crack them all open. What fantastic detail in there. Such a good model. I know that I know these. Some of these are probably old for you guys. Well, this one uh, is probably old news for you guys, especially if you're Mini GT fans. But uh, like I said, I'm I'm catching up. I'm catching up. So we got some real good stuff coming. Real good stuff coming. All right, we're gonna start chopping the next guy. My handy dandy scissors. They get an enormous amount of uh, work for the amount of clamshells that I have to cut open. Get those popped out. Get this guy off of there. Get this on there just real fast. We're going to do this Senna. We're going to see. We are going to see how this uh, appears under the uh, the lights on our little rotator dude here. Oh, man, such a good casting. Such a good casting. All right, take that off. You know, it definitely... Me sitting behind the camera and looking at it, I assure you, this thing is extremely fluorescent. Extremely fluorescent. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. I think the this fluorescent and the white combo is awesome. Awesome. Uh, black wheels are perfect. This is obviously the best 164 Senna you're going to find, uh, in my opinion. Absolutely insane. 
Um, but would you expect anything else from any GT? Because I wouldn't. I wouldn't at all. All right, we're going to pull that up. Take one quick look at the back there. Pull it up so we can get all the deets. You know, Mini GT does a really good job of all their uh, transition lines between the paint, too. So good. Uh, the spoiler's not... Um, uh, well, maybe this... No, it's plastic. I thought maybe it might be metal, but... We'll get the back here and the diffuser. Uh, this, the Sen has these crazy, crazy, crazy integrated tail lights, so that's why you're not seeing anything. And of course, that see-through door there. Sort of... Sort of see that white BMW chilling over there. It's really, really good, man. Really, really good. Number 12. Gotta love cinnamon. And then there's your, there's your deets. You know, it doesn't matter to me that there's no base deets. Because uh, we don't need base deets. We really don't. You're never going to look at the base. Like the reality is, is we are never going to look at the base. And we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna enjoy it sitting there. So, all right, we're gonna crack the next one. And uh, I started this video before I grabbed the other C8. So we'll have a little bit of a break here. So I go grab it real quick. So, but you guys won't notice the break. You'll notice the you'll notice the transition, but you won't notice the break in the uh, information coming to you. There's the box. Let that roll around just real quick. There you go. I know you guys are like, get the box off of there. I just want the model. I'll throw that on there. Pretty sweet, huh? I think it's pretty sweet. All right, we'll pull that up before we put the red one up there. We'll pull this up so we can look at it. Like I said, a lot of you guys probably already have these. Um... It's really not that old. It just barely came out. Good detail in the back there. We got the plate. We got the Corvette symbol. Corvette logo. Lensed taillights, obviously. It's pretty good. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, definitely, definitely better than Mini GT, or I'm sorry, uh, Green Lights version, for sure. Obviously. Uh, we've got some black stripes on there. Good detail for the engine. Try to get some of the glare out of there. Let's do it this way. There we go. Then, of course, you know, it's super iconic interior. Uh, this does not have any removable pieces like the green light version does. But I really don't think that that's necessary. I mean, the lines are there to show that it's, it's a possibility. Um... And there is the base. I'm gonna throw that on there. We're gonna take the red one, which is pretty sweet because of the wheels and the contrasting and all that. I'm gonna throw that guy on there. There you go. Let those rotate. Love the C8. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I really, I really can't wait until. The crazy versions come out and then people start modifying them um mini gt is making the car i believe pretty sure can't wait for that one to come out put that next to the bentley continental gt3 um they're also doing the uh, ford gt race car gonna be ridiculous gonna be ridiculous have our own little mini race car uh diorama using mini gts <laughs> it's pretty funny all right guys all right so there's part one uh we're gonna be working on part two part three those are going to be coming up and, uh, you know, hope you guys enjoy it. I'm rolling out. Level and diecast. Peace.